There we are. Getting settled in here. I'm going to pick up where we left off with Crime Suspense Stories. And this is where we actually get into the meat of the picture, if you will. So I'm just kind of waking up some of the paint here with water. And uh, so we've got the actual body to do. Again, the body. I'm going to start off uh, simple. Ah! And then we're going to work our way into some of the more complex areas, as per usual. So let me go ahead. I want to mix up the green. I also want to put a little yellow into it to kind of soften it. brush a little bit so we get the yellow when we pull that across stir that up make it nice and liquidy would that be more green or more yellow I don't know yet I like that. Let me thin it out a little bit more. Ryan, yes, dear. Um, no, you and I just need to talk about the Christmas stuff and then get back with her. I said sometime this weekend we would. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my number one brush here, which is my favorite brush. That still needs cleaned out a little bit from last time. You can see there's still some black. Not much though. Okay. Pick up some of this yellow to green. Try to our scratch board. Okay. I like how that works out. This is a bit more of a traditional watercolor. I'm going to go right over this whole thing. Uh, I can come in later with the black and fill in our shadows. This is not going to be as solid a color as what uh, they had on the original cover. Again, I should look up, because I know that it was a Johnny Craig illustration, but I don't know who colored it, who did the original inks, paints, whatever. So I'm going to get a little bit of a And then we're going to come back through here with uh, with a black. It's a bit too strong. There we go. But adding a little bit of depth up front it can maybe help blend in some of those shadows once we do come back into it. dress there. The gentleman had a blue shirt and brown pants, just the traditional khakis. Uh, so we're going to stick with some just pure cobalt blue. Again, nice and thinned out. Ooh, 
I maybe want to bring in a little bit of white. Sure. Well, let's do that just to get a little. Again, I like to add depth to my color, not everything just flat straight out of the tube. Which, again, if you've been watching any of these, I didn't know that watercolors were a thing that, you know, came in tubes. <laughs> I thought it was all those little plastic trays with little divots of color. Apparently there's only one kind of the many forms of watercolor. Taking some white and just, there we go, dropping it in. Cleaning the brush and let's mix up cobalt blue and white. Not mixing in the whole selection. That way we have some variety even just within that one thing of color. Well that's gonna look nice. Okay. Alright, sir. Let's go ahead and just start. fine line there as we do your outline. Come along the pants line. Folds and the wrinkles. Again, we will use our original black and whites there as a guide for when we come back through and do the uh, shading. Respectful of the hair here because it's much easier for the light color of her blonde hair to come over the blue and be, you know, repainted over than it is for me to get blue on her head and try and paint over that with the blonde. We're gonna have a lot of shadow back here, but we're gonna go ahead and, okay, so that would be, okay. Yeah. Okay. Again, trying to just line things up. Come back and do shadows once we get our base colors in. I have some masking around here somewhere. I would like to try it if I could find it. I think that'd be a valuable tool to add to my watercolor skill set, tool set, whatever you want to call it. That's the sound of a Samsung dryer. Oh. 
We got a little bit of work still doing the top, some lettering, starting to fill in blocks of color. And that's how these operate. I like to fill in big chunks and then come in and refine once we are able to do so. there around the hand, a little fountain of hair at the top. You know, I don't recall if this particular story was um, ever adapted for the show, for Tales from the Crypt. Yes, I know this is not a Tales story, but most of the stories on Tales from the Crypt were not from Tales from the Crypt. You know, that's something I should probably look up just as a handy little stream conversation topic. How many of each book were adapted for the show? Yeah, there were clearly a lot of supernatural and real, you know, horror-based stories. There was also just a lot of uh, human misery, um, crime and murder and jealousy and affairs and such. Even in the original Tales comic, there were a lot of just humans are bad, which is a sound basis for any horror story, is humans. What if they humaned a whole bunch? My uh, kids don't have the same appetite for horror movies and such that I do. But every now and again I would try and get them to watch, you know, a more tame episode of Tales. And the one in particular I remember is the one with uh, a vampire couple adopts a little boy that nobody wants from the orphanage. Larry Drake is their butler and they just keep fattening him up, fattening up, and they finally say, hey, it's gonna be a great night. We're gonna cook and eat this kid. That night happens to be a full moon. And it turns out the reason why the kid was always such a jerk at the orphanage was because he was actually a werewolf. And he, you know, kills and eats his vampire parents. Goes back to the orphanage where there's like one lady who was nice to him and he's like, yeah, things are going to be different around here. Mean people 
aren't going to be mean to me anymore because I finally know my family secret. And it was okay. It was something, again, that was kid age appropriate enough. All right, so for his khakis, same thing. We're going to want to get brown. Ice and liquid. We're going to add some white to it. Don't know how much we're going to need. We'll go ahead and pump a good bit over there. Again, we can always extend that one a little bit by just adding some water to it. We're going to rinse our brush so we can pick up some white. Mix that up. Six, number four, pardon me. What was I thinking? We're having a hard time blending. That white wants to stay separate from the brown. Gotta really whip this together. See so that comes out. I want to paint it out. Okay, it keeps its color. paint around the belt buckle and the belt itself get up close to the hair I'm trying to keep a crisp corner there it's difficult. Touch the wet part there. When the paint is um, so liquid, and it wants to flow. So I gotta let it just kind of drain off the brush before you can really get to it. Gonna be mindful of her eyelashes, but you know we can and pull the black out over the brown. And you know while I am clearly no Wortham fan or supporter. This cover would be, I think, still fairly, you know, eye-catching today. I can only imagine what it was like in the 50s. All 
Oh, fudgies. Okay, so that's what I can do. So this section here, that's actually supposed to be pants, not shirt. So I can come back through, hopefully, once that dries, hit it with some white, a nice solid white to cover it, and then come back through with the brown on top of that. I mean, that's what happens when you're focusing on too many things and not enough things all at once. You get a bit ahead of yourself. But, as I say, every installment, this is all about practice and learning. So, if I make any sort of mistake, there's still great value in that. I can't be too mad at myself. Because I'm learning. And that's taking a lot of the pressure off of painting, for sure. knowing that I'm doing these paintings just for me and as uh, learning exercises it makes things less stressful. Let me see something. Wake up the red. Yeah, we'll just let it match. A little bit of color symmetry. You know, I'm treating this um, in a lot more watercolor than the first several paintings I did, which were very thick, solid paints. That's not a problem, but I am curious as to if perhaps some solid colors here wouldn't be more fitting than some of the soft watercolor effect. See, that does come right up against the line. Just double checking. Oh, 
Okay. The lighting on the on the skin is fantastic. Try and shrink this so I have a view of there we go. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Need a light brown. For the handle. Kind of a yellowish. Is a bit too skinny. There we go. That brings a little bit better back to it. Maybe if you go to bed earlier, it might help. I did not do the tile lines on the floor. Uh, darn. I don't know if I'm going to go back and do that or not. That's a detail I'd like to see. For now, I'm going to white out that blue. I'm going to come back through here in a minute. Once that's dry, repaint that brown. Okay. Hmm. Where do we want to go from here? Yeah, I'm sorry, you can move my uh, paint stuff, whatever, you know, the way. That is not it. Have you seen the plastic cover printout of the um, size of her bags? No, I got these three. No. Calculate 
you want, come here a second. I'll flip this. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna make it. Okay. Artist bag is gonna be 13 and a half by 15 and a half. Sorry. As I've mentioned before, this is not the painting room. This is the art room where we have all sorts of arts and crafts activities going on. In this case, we'll work on the Christmas bags. some of this out, soften up the edges. A little bit of the dark for the... Yeah, that's not going to work. Let me do, I wonder if I can do... Okay, so the hair is going to come up through that. Okay. Okay, so. Where is that? 13 and a half by 15 and a half. That's not going to work. <coughs> 6 by 15 and a half. That will work. Kind of get shadows. So we'll come back through um, as we go. Again, the light work on the original is really it's just superb. I think that's a good hand. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. The other one. The lighting from below is what's really cool about this. So we're going to go ahead and get the top of the hand, the dark color. And while I would appreciate more separation from the pants color, maybe I can just, again, go on my own and make that a little bit darker. Same thing, the separation from the Axe handle. Okay. Thin that out so I can get some lines out of it. Good. Okay. Back to the light for most of the closed fist. Not getting quite the Did size you need. Work. No. Not sure what the best plan is going to be. It has to be like exact. Yeah. In order to work. And I don't know if that's going to be possible. Do we have any poster boards you could use back there? Yeah, but this is like cardstock. I thought it was thicker. Uh, 
that white is slowly drying. Backer board? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. It's not quite. Yeah. All right. Well, I may have to. I'm going to thin out this yellow quite a lot to get a very liquid yellow. Their hair shouldn't just be like straight up, you know, canary yellow, but let's start off with a base of just plain yellow. And then as with everything else, we will add highlights and shadows as we proceed. folks have seen better days as a couple. Hmm. The folks on this picture must have had some sort of significant marital dispute. Yes, whichever child is talking. Yes, son. One moment. I need to go up and make the bed in a little bit because I don't want to get tired. Yeah, just flop on and it. And then have to do it. I have to go back through and reread this comic myself, but if you were to guess, honey, what do you think was the cause of this particular dispute? Was this uh, a cheating thing? Was this a money thing? How do you think we got one? Sounds good. No, it's definitely not a positive ending. Well, in in uh, EC fashion, this is not the ending, and the husband. Uh, hmm. I'm sure does get his know what the best. just desserts in the end. drying on the white. All right, quick pause to pour a chocolate milk. I'll be right back. Talk and entertain the you know what is watching.
pick up a little bit of black here. That's always where we get things to really start to take shape. But I'm going to do a little bit of lettering for a moment. too much liquid on the brush at the moment for precise lettering. Let me touch a bit of a dry spot. Let's see if that helps me out. This black. has to be 15 and a half. It's like about right there. 13 and a half. Let's see. Yeah, all right, we'll go ahead and just start. Dropping in some of the deep shadows. All right, Matt. Okay.
<laughs> I think I just messed this up. Everything needed to be to line up. It needed to be 15. No, wait. No, that's right. Wait. There's 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? Yeah. This is right. 13 and a half? Wait. What's this? this wait. Not two different pieces. This needs to be 15 and a half. Right now, this is 15 and a half, and that's wrong because it needs to be vertical. All right, well, fuck that up. I have to just do it, do a different size. One second, I'm gonna finish a couple black lines here and then I will come up. It's looking pretty good. I like the lights and the highlights there. Are you streaming? Yep. I deleted Twitch. What? Yes. Well, I deleted Twitch. I do not know. Okay. Who's watching you? No one. That looks cool. This comic book was uh, so frighteningly grotesque, they actually had to take it in front of Congress and have hearings about it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and it... Uh, almost, you know, killed the comic books industry for decades, that's, honestly. That's wild. That's some wacky, wild stuff. Okay, so I planned it all out. Mm -hmm. My wall. Well, not not the wall that I'm trying to cover up for, just the front wall, that, where, like, where my pillow is, you know, mm -hmm. with the little things on it. And a lot of the things on there I don't like. And I feel like printing a bunch of stuff in color would not be good. So I'm trying to like lower it and then like find, I'm trying to shrink the printing list down but at the same time I don't, you know, I'm, I'm having difficulties. Yeah. I'm trying to limit it down to four. Well. Cause I know that I ain't We're gonna take a stream pause here so we can go help with some chores. Maybe back tonight, maybe not. Maybe next time you see me, we'll have a full finished picture. And we got crime suspense stories. Issue number 22, we will return. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Do you see my conflict here?